Hello everybody, this is Gregory with How I Lost Over 100 Pounds and I've kept it off for 30 plus years where there should be no hesitance in your weight loss and maintenance. Today we're going to talk about what's the ideal body for a man to have vis-a-vis -vis women's preferences. Now before we begin, if you need help with weight loss, especially from the psychological point of view, contact me through the Clarity FM link found here in the episode notes. Also check out my website, Naturopathic Earth, which has hundreds of recipes, The Awakened Man, the podcast, my two books, and if you appreciate my content, there's a link for PayPal. All right, so I've talked about this uh, kind of tangentially in a couple of episodes. Most importantly, when you're losing your weight, don't be like a large percentage of men that I see at the gym who are already 30, 40 pounds overweight and they spend four hours in the gym doing lifting weights and no cardio. Lose the gut, then regain the muscle because it's easier to do it that way. You lose the gut because your quality of life and your longevity of life is more contingent on you having less fat around your visceral organs than you being really bulked up. And I think men can be a little myopic about this. Also, men who like to lift weights all day typically don't like cardio. There's like the, the two, it's like the, uh, the Jets and the Sharks. The cardio people really like cardio they've been doing it most of their life and they don't really like to lift weight and then the, the weightlifter types that's what they've been doing their whole life they really like to do cardio but either way it doesn't matter it's, it's results driven so if you're overweight please stop spending four hours lifting weights because you are getting more muscle but you're also getting fatter because as we talked about with the protein shakes and all these things you're just taking in too many calories lose the fat yes you're going to lose some muscle with it but there's tons of programs online where you, how you can regain the weight where it's mostly muscle so you lose the fat which overall is going to be better for your health and then you can regain muscle and kind of look like wolverine hugh jackman all right so i've talked about this before but i i think we should do an episode where we just specialize on this and i want to be clear paleolithically we are wired to look like swimmers and soccer players what happened throughout time was with the real big men they were just too slow to avoid predators and marauding invaders. And if you're too skinny, you're not strong enough to fight them off. So if you've ever seen Mel Gibson's Apocalypto, the Mayan movie, it's a good example. The protagonist there is just kind of like a lean dude. His best friend's kind of this big, strong, hulky guy who, of course, ends up dying. But it's, it's kind of that example of it. So look, despite what you might see in muscle magazines or what you find on Reddit or YouTube or wherever, being really big is not ideal. It's not ideal for your health. It actually doesn't help you attract women. Study after study, women are very clear. They prefer the swimmer physique, the soccer physique. Think of Christian Ronaldo, not Lionel Messi. That kind of like chiseled but athletic inverted pyramid body, slim waist, broad shoulders, nice traps. And look, I'm not saying this because I have this body, because clearly I don't, I don't have a lot of muscles, okay? But I'm telling you what the studies show. Women prefer athletic build over muscular build. That, now that's not to say that they don't like a muscular build, but the muscular build must be in proportion. So you see guys, for example, like have massive legs, right? They just spend a lot of times on their legs and then maybe not as much on their body or vice versa. Women like a balanced view. I could show you pictures and pictures of all these things. Get the balanced view of, of the body. So it's hard to hear this because we're kind of just set in our ways, right? We're kind of set in our ways. And sometimes our ways are correct. Sometimes there are ways or not. So like, for example, if you, if you like to eat a lot of vegetables, well, that's good. You're, you're set in your ways and that actually is good for you. But if you like to eat a lot of Cheetos and cheese puffs every day, that's not good for, for you and you need to radically change that. So what I would tell you guys who like to lift weights, and I think the majority of men who are overweight who did do sports in high school were probably in football. And so it's football, you're expending a lot of calories and practice and all that, and you lift a lot of weights. But after football, when you go into college, you're, not long, you're no longer playing football unless you're in that top tier. You tend to get fat because you, you didn't really have to eat well. You didn't have to watch your diet, but now you're no longer doing daily practices. Whereas if you were in soccer, tennis, 
cross country, these cardio sports, it's kind of built into you to do those cardio events. And therefore, if you kind of take a cross section of the JV swimmers and JV track players, track stars uh, of high school, and compare them with the football players, for example, you're gonna see that, that the former group 10, 15 years later at some reunion are gonna be in better shape. They just are, because cardio keeps you in better shape. And I'm not saying strength training is not important. Strength training is important. Hear me out, it is important, just not as important as cardio. Because cardio, heart health, cardiac output, clearing out your arthrosclerosis, all these things, ultimately are gonna help you have a better quality of life and less averse to having cardiovascular incidences like heart attacks and strokes. Lifting weights isn't gonna do that. Lifting weights is great for your bones. Lifting weights is great for other things. Helps you burn your metabolism, for example, faster. But in terms of you hitting 85 years old and still being able to have a quality of life and walking and not have dementia because there's a connection between your eating and your lack of activity and dementia, you need to get in better heart health. So the studies are clear. Women prefer the athletic swimmer body, soccer body. They don't like the dudes who are, they can't turn their neck, right? That's not what they want. And we know the studies are clear too. And just in terms of your overall health, you want to be lean. So in closing, guys, if any of you guys, and I'm not, I say this all in charity because I care for you. If you're one of these guys who spends four hours in the gym and you're big, but you're also fat, you got to stop lifting the weights and use those four hours to be doing the cardio. And I know it's hard because your whole paradigm has been this chicken breast, protein shakes, lifting weights. And you know you're getting bigger. You, you know you have the panza, as we say in Spanish, the gut. But you think, well, I need to be muscular because that's the definition of masculinity. No, you're going contrary to what every study shows. Get leaner and then rebuild the muscle, but where you're still athletically lean. That's what you want. Swimmer, soccer body. And that's the best for attracting women. And that's also just the best for your overall longevity. Guys, post in the comments. I'd like to hear from you. Hit the notification, subscribe, and share button. Until next time, take care, God bless, and pray.